Protecting the ocean and its marine life is not just a matter of leaving it alone. There's also a place for restoration and rehabilitation. In Bali, fishermen from the north coast village of Les were worried about the reef that sustains their livelihood. They catch fish for the ornamental fish trade and used to use cyanide, which stunned but didn't kill the fish and made it easier to scoop them up. But there was a downside. The cyanide killed the coral and other marine life that made up the reef. Poor quality reef means fewer fish. The fishermen realised their future was under threat and decided to do something about it. First they made a decision as a community to stop cyanide fishing. Then they started action to rehabilitate the reef. They put various structures in the water to encourage coral larvae to build up a new reef. Eventually they established a partnership with the National University of Singapore and began a program of active reef rehabilitation involving the cultivation of coral on artificial platforms and then transferring it to areas of reef that had been degraded. The aim is to encourage coral spawning and natural growth. I recently had a chance to participate in a program involving the Balinese villagers, scientists from Singapore and volunteers from Australia, all working together. This approach is still at the experimental stage, as the scientists and villagers seek to determine which coral species, depths, structures and time frames work best. But the early results are encouraging and the reef is recovering. The people of Les have a strong culture. They make their living from exploiting natural resources, but they understand that their future depends on the health of the environment. This goes beyond income. Their community, their self-respect, their culture, religion and rituals are tied to the land and the waters in and around which they live. If they can maintain a healthy environment, it's more likely that future generations will continue to enjoy their traditional way of life. And there's probably something for us to learn from this cooperative approach to environmental protection and rehabilitation.